University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. So far, we've seen Peterhouse Cambridge and the universities of Liverpool and York go through to the semi-finals. Whichever team wins tonight will join them. The losers will be left weeping into their beer. Now, the team from St John's College, Oxford, arrived here by beating Bristol University in round one, Queen's Belfast in round two, and St Catherine's College, Cambridge, in their first quarter-final. But then they lost to Peterhouse, Cambridge, in their second. Let's ask them now to introduce themselves again. Hi, my name is Alex Harries. I come from South Wales, and I'm reading history. Hello, my name is Charlie Clegg. I'm from Glasgow, and I'm reading theology. And this is their captain. Hi, my name is Angus Russell. I'm from Mill Hill in North London, and I study history and Russian. Hi, I'm Dan Sowd. I'm from Uxbridge in Middlesex, and I'm reading chemistry. The team from Newcastle University have seen off the universities of Kent and Glasgow. They beat Nuffield College Oxford, which made up for their earlier quarter-final defeat at the hands of Liverpool University. Let's remind ourselves now of who they are. Hello, I'm Alexander Kirkman. I'm from Guildford in Surrey, and I'm studying biomedical sciences. Hi, my name's Nicholas Smith. I'm originally from Chorley in Lancashire, and I'm studying medicine. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm Tony Richardson, originally from County Durham, studying for a Master's in International Politics. Hi, I'm Kate Bennett. I'm from Chichester, and I'm studying for an MA in Film, Theory and Practice. Right, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first start of a ten. Based on a design said to have been modelled on Francis Stewart, later the Duchess of Richmond, which symbolic figure appeared on New English coinage... St John's Clegg. Britannia. Correct. These bonuses are on kings and artists, St John's. Which French king invited Leonardo da Vinci to live at the Chateau du Clos Lucet in 1516? The artist remained in France until his death three years later. Maybe Francis I. OK, could we? Possibly. Yeah. Francis I? Yeah. Yeah. Francis I? Correct. Inspired by Ovid's Metamorphoses, which Italian artist began a series of large-scale mythological works known as the Poesy Paintings, for Philip II of Spain in 1551. Is he Italian? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Philip's... It's not Raphael. No, maybe, maybe Titian. 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 Titian? Titian is correct. Arriving in London in the early 1630s, which painter supplanted his main rival at court, the Dutchman Daniel Mytens, to become the court artist to Charles I? Oh, Van Dyck. Oh, yeah. Van Dyck. Yeah. Van Dyck. Anthony Van Dyck is correct. Ten points for this. The birthplace of Goethe and the home of the headquarters of the European Central Bank and the Stadel Museum. Which German city gives its... St John's Russell. Frankfurt. Frankfurt is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, St John's, are on a constellation. The constellations now known as Carina, Pupis and Vela formerly comprised a single constellation known by the name of what ship in Greek mythology? Yeah, yeah, Argo. Argo. Yeah. Argo is correct. Which star in the southern constellation of Carina is the second brightest after Sirius in the night sky? Is that Betelgeuse? Betelgeuse, isn't it? I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. Nominate Harry's? Uh, nominate Clegg? Uh, uh, Betelgeuse? <laughs> no, it's Canopus. <laughs> Born around 135 BC, the Syrian thinker Poseidonius used sightings of Canopus to estimate the Earth's size. He was a leading figure of which philosophical school? I think the empiricism. Isn't all the empiricists that a lot later? Uh, well, it's the early school of empiricism. Okay. Yeah. yeah, OK, let's go that Empiricists? Way. No, it's the Stoics. Oh. Ten points for this. From the Greek for hair on the head, what four-letter term denotes the cloud of gas and dust around the nucleus of a comet? A medical name with... Newcastle Smith. Coma. Coma is correct. Your first set of bonuses, Newcastle, are on scientific terms. In each case, give the term from the description. All three begin with the same four letters. Firstly, a large carnivorous bipedal dinosaur of the Jurassic period, somewhat smaller than the later Tyrannosaurus. An almost complete skeleton of one such animal was discovered in Shell, Wyoming, in 1991. Yeah, America, Allosaurus. Allosaurus. Correct, yes, Big Al that was in Wyoming. 
Secondly, a two-word term denoting the accumulation of genetic differences in an isolated population, leading to the evolution of a new species. Some variations. It's not that specific, is it? Um, it's allergenic. Kind of it's allergenic variation. Um, allergenic. Variation. Yeah. allergenic variation? No, it's allopatric speciation. And finally, in chemistry, a term describing two or more forms of a solid element. Examples are the graphite and diamond forms of carbon. Allotrope. Allotropes or allotropy is correct. Right, ten points for this. What single letter of the alphabet is repeated four times to give the title of Laurent Binet's 2010 debut novel? The resulting abbreviation denotes a remark in German about two high-ranking Nazi officials, one of whom was assassinated in 1942. St John's Clegg. H. H is correct, yes. <laughs> St John's, your bonus is wrong, groaning. Firstly, for five points, which century saw the groans of the Britons? The historian Gildas's description of a vain appeal for help to a Roman commander usually identified as Flavius Aetius. That's the fifth. I think it seems like it's covered the Brit one, so... I think so. The fifth? Correct. Yeah. How alike are the groans of love to those of the dying? These words appear in Under the Volcano, a 1947 work by which mm. British author? Yes. Larry. Malcolm Lowry. Lowry. Malcolm Lowry. Correct. Oh, who is that young sinner with the handcuffs on his wrists? And what has he been after that they groan and shake their fists? These lines from a poem by A.E. Houseman are a response to the trial of which literary figure in 1895? Yeah. Oscar Wilde. Correct. We're going to take a picture around now. If your picture starts, you'll see a map showing two locations. The first is the burial place of a historical figure, while the second is where that person's heart is separately interred. Ten points if you can name the historical figure. St John's Russell. Charlemagne. Nope. Newcastle Smith. Chopin. Chopin is correct, yes. <laughs> his body was buried in Paris and his heart in Warsaw. So, your bonus is now... Chopin's heart had been removed at his request and sent back to Poland. Three more maps, each illustrating the final resting place of a historical figure. The spot where their heart is separately interred is also marked. Five points for each person you can name. Firstly... Is that Zambia? Yeah, Cecil Rhodes. No, that's David Livingstone. His heart was cut out before his body was taken back to England and buried in Westminster Abbey. Secondly... Is that Robert Bruce? Scotland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyone else in Scottish history that... I know Robert the Bruce's heart is buried in the yeah. history, but... Yeah. I go with that, yeah. Robert the Bruce. It is Robert yeah. the Bruce, yes. And finally... Thomas Hardy. Thomas Hardy, indeed, his heart was buried in Dorset. <laughs> right, ten points for this. At an altitude of more than 3,500 metres, Ley, in the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir, is the main town of which historical region? Newcastle Richardson. Ladakh. Ladakh is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on the author Arthur Kersler. What two-word term did Kersler use in a work of 1964 to describe those who close their minds to science despite being entirely dependent on it for the conveniences of modern life? It includes a derogatory word for an uncultured person. Is that Philistine? Would you say uncultured person? I would say Philistine. Would you say Pretentious Philistine. <laughs> The pretentious Philistine. Yeah. No, he called them urban barbarians. barbarians yeah. Secondly, in the same work, Kersler refers to a catastrophe of modern philosophy, which he says consisted in the splitting up of the world into the realms of matter and mind. After which French philosopher and mathematician did he name it? Descartes. Descartes. Yeah. Descartes. Descartes, the Cartesian catastrophe is correct. And finally, a 1967 work by Kersler has as its title what expression 
used derisively by the British philosopher Gilbert Ryle to refer to Cartesian dualism. Body-mind duality. Body-mind duality. No, it's the ghost in the machine. Ten points for this. I need a precise two-word term here. What measure of the effectiveness of a rocket engine can bear units of either seconds or metres per second, depending on whether it's measured per unit weight or unit mass? St John's Harry's. Check propulsion. No, anyone like to buzz from Newcastle? Newcastle Smith. Check momentum. No, it's specific impulse. Ten points for this. Differing only in their initial letters, give the surnames of the Venetian Renaissance artist who painted the San Giobbe altarpiece and the Florentine sculptor and goldsmith whose works include Perseus with the head of Medusa. St John's Clay. Bellini and Cellini. Correct. Yeah. Your bonuses are on infinite series, St John's. Give the limit as n tends to infinity of each of the following. Firstly, the limit of the sum from k equals zero to n of terms of the form one-third to the power of k. In other words, one plus one-third plus one-ninth, and so on. Do you know this? Um, just... Alex, do you... Yeah. I, I think it on. might be um, the um, sine function. Okay. Sine, okay. Sine okay. Nominate Soward. The sine function? No, it's 3 over 2 or 1 and a half. The limit of the sum from k equals 1 to n of the reciprocal of the kth triangular number beginning 1 plus 1 third plus 1 sixth. So it's not it's not squaring it; it's halving it. So it's whatever that other one was, but with a with a half in it. So three over two. Three over two, yeah. No, no, that's what that was. That was the answer. Three quarters. Yeah. If you, um, yeah. Why three not? quarters. No, it's two. Okay. And finally, the limit of the sum from k equals one to n of the reciprocal of the kth prime number. That is one half plus one third plus one fifth, etc. Right, one. One. No, that's infinity. Oh, yeah. Ten points for this. <laughs> After an area. Now in South London, what two-word term is used of the discussions of 1647 between the Council of the New Model Army and their commanders? They included radical political proposals such as the argument for manhood suffrage. St John's Clay. Putney debate. Correct. Oh. Your bonuses are on the SOPODs list of approved two-letter words in Scrabble. In each case, link the two words defined to form the name of a European river. For example, 18th letter of the alphabet and negative answer give Arno, the river that flows through Florence. Firstly, then, the letter that begins the name of the longest river of France and the infinitive form that corresponds to être in French and estar in Spanish. Elba. Elba is correct. Secondly, a hypothetical force proposed by Karl von Reichenbach and an interjection expressing uncertainty or hesitation. What's the first one? Is it Uda? Yeah, it could be. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Might be, the force might be like... Odie? Oh, oh, like... Uh, what's the force? Is it Odie? I don't know what the force is. Oh. Okay, Oda? Correct. Oh. <laughs> a contraction of a word for mother and a conjunction meaning because, since, while, or when. As. Uh, so it's Mars. Mars. Mars, is that a river? Maybe the city on which Mars which sits. Mars. Like Mars, yeah, Mars. 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 Correct. Yeah. M-A-A-S. <laughs> Well worked out. Your uh, music round now for all of you. Fingers on the buzzers, please. Your music starter is a piece of classical music. Ten points if you can identify the composer. St John Sowood. Uh, Mendelssohn. It is Mendelssohn, yes. <laughs> His violin concerto in E minor. 
Right, he founded the Leipzig Conservatoire, the first institution of its kind in Germany. The Conservatoire became a school of some renown, and for your music bonuses, you're going to hear three works by three of its notable pupils. Five points for each composer you can identify. Firstly, for five, this British composer. I know Ron Williams went to Leipzig. This, that's what yeah, I think that's not, no. no. Doesn't sound like it could be Ron Williams. No, I think it's, is it if it's one of the two, it's Elgar. Okay. Yeah, yeah let's try Elgar. Let's try Elgar. Elgar. No, that's Delius, it's a oh. bit from A Village, Romeo and Juliet. Secondly, this Czech composer. Janacek. Yeah, Janacek. Yeah. 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 Correct. And finally, this Nordic composer. It could, could, could be Greek. Yeah. It could be Nielsen. It's probably not Nielsen. Yeah, it's spelled like Nordic, which usually means yeah. this is yeah. something because of Finland. I've been going to see Greek. Yeah, it could sound like it could be Greek. Yeah. Greek? Greek is right, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this starter question. Answer as soon as your name is called. In snooker, what score would be made in a break consisting of six reds and six colours if each of the six coloured balls is potted exactly once? Newcastle Richardson. 34. Anyone like to buzz St. John's, John's Russell. 35. No, it's 33. Oh. <laughs> Bad luck. Right, ten points for this. In material science, what term is used to denote the controlled heating and cooling of a substance in order to remove internal stresses and instabilities and to make it easier to work or machine? Newcastle Kirkman. Tempering. No. St. John's Harry. Soldering. No, it's annealing. Ten points for this. The major part of the historical region of Bessarabia now forms most of which present-day country? The northern area and coastal plain of the historical region were added to the Ukrainian SSR in 1940. St John's Russell. Moldova. Moldova is right. Well your bonuses, St. John's, are on orthographic diacritics in languages of Europe and West Asia. All three languages have at least 20 million speakers. Firstly, umlauts over the letters O and U and cedillas under the letters S and C yes. appear in which language of the Eastern Mediterranean? Turkish. It's been written in Roman script since the 1920s. Turkish. Correct. Secondly, breves on the letter A, circumflexes over the letters A and I, and small commas under the letters S and T feature in the orthography of which Romance language? Is that Romanian? Romanian, yeah. Romanian, yeah. Romanian. Correct. The Kreska, similar in form to an acute accent, and the Ogonic, or little tail, are diacritical marks used to write which language? Bulgarian or something? Mm, mm, yeah. mm. Quasi-Slavic. Um, yeah. Hungarian, maybe? Yeah, yeah, OK, that's, that's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hungarian? No, it's Polish. Mm. Right. Ten points for this. In text messages and other digital usage, ILD in German, TQ in Spanish... You can't salt me. I love you. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Your bonuses are on modern artworks, Newcastle. Tracing the fortunes of the Hogarthian reincarnation Tim Rakewell, The Vanity of Small Differences is a series of six tapestries by which Turner prize-winning artist? Rachel Whiteread? No, it's by Grayson Perry. Anish Kapoor's Cloud Gate is a large public sculpture covered in 168 stainless steel plates on display in the Millennium Park of which US city? Park. Seattle? No, it's Chicago. Depicting a view in East Yorkshire, Bigger Trees Near Water, is the title of the largest painting undertaken to date by which British artist? David Hockney. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What Norse-derived word for a small rocky island appears in numerous British place names, particularly... St John's Clegg. Scary. 
Scary is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, St John's, are on biology. What Greek-derived term denotes asexual reproduction in which an ovum grows and develops without fertilisation? It's from the Greek for virgin, which is parth parthenogenic. Yeah, parthenogenic. Parthenogenesis is correct, yes. From the Greek for male birth, what term denotes the form of parthenogenesis in which only males are produced? So, uh, yeah, and androgenesis. Yeah, androgenesis. No, it's arhenotoki. Um, and finally, honeybees exhibit arhenotoki. How many sets of chromosomes will be present in the nucleus of a drone bee? I assume 23. How many? As opposed to 46, because yeah. I assume they cancel each other out. No, but that's only for humans. Oh. <laughs> um, should we go? Do we have any? Do we, I, I, do we know the number of chromosomes in a bee? I don't, but it's definitely. I won't, I doubt it will be the same. It differs yeah. animal to animal. So it's probably the overall one that they're asking about it. So it's okay. 40 or yeah. 60. No, it's probably not going to be as many as that. No. I'm good to go. 30, 30, 30. Do you. Oh, come, come on! on. 23. 23. No, it's one set. <laughs> <laughs> I see it bid up, though. Uh, <laughs> right, let's have a picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a painting of an event described in a play by Shakespeare. For ten points, I want the name of the artist and the title of the play from which it comes. St John's play. Uh, John, Everett, Millie and Hamlet. Correct, yes, it's the death of the of course. <laughs> OK, for your bonuses, you're going to see three more paintings by British artists inspired by the plays of Shakespeare. I want the artist and the play from which the depicted scene is taken. Firstly... I think it's a midsummer night's dream. It's... I, I, I go for Fuseli. Um, Fuseli. Fuseli, yes. Fuseli. Is anyone... Yeah? Fuseli, midsummer night's yeah. dream. That's... Fuseli, midsummer night's dream? No, that's Landseer under oh, midsummer okay. night's dream. Secondly... Um, oh, this is Macbeth. 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 I think John Martin. Yep. John Martin and Macbeth. Correct. Finally. Uh, Romeo and Juliet. Ah, it's not pure Hamlet. Possibly Rossetti. Mm. Yeah, should we, should, yeah. Yeah. Rossetti, Romeo and Juliet. No, it's Ford Maddox Brown and Romeo and Juliet. Right, ten points for this. Give the single word name of the visual pigment that enables vision in low-level light... Newcastle Smith. Rhodopsin. Correct. <laughs> right, Newcastle, your bonuses are on words that end in the letters E-R-Y. All three are commonly used in colourful or emotive speech. Firstly, from a Latin word thought to have the sense of unblushing or pushing forward the forehead... What word means barefaced cheek or shameless audacity? Affrontery. Affrontery is correct. From an obsolete generic name for a half witted person, what word signifies silly trifling or absurd behaviour? Buffoonery. No, it's tomfoolery. And finally, also ending in E-R-Y and derived in part from the French for small or little, what word means disreputable quarrelling over trivial points? Pedantry. Come on. No, it's not going to come. It's petty foggery. There are just over four minutes to go and ten points for this. Passed in 1799 and 1800, the Combination Acts were oppressive legislation... Newcastle Richardson. Against trade unions. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses, Newcastle, are on the Sapta Puri, or seven great pilgrimage sites of Hinduism. Firstly, Dwarka in Gujarat state was the legendary capital of which deity worshipped as the eighth incarnation of Vishnu? Shiva. Shiva? No, it's Krishna. Ayodhya in Uttar Pradesh is generally identified as the birthplace of which deity, the title figure of a major Indian epic poem? Mm -hmm. Lakshmi? No, it's Rama. Oh, and yeah. finally, Ujin yeah. in Madhya Pradesh is the site of the Mahakala temple dedicated to which deity? Shiva? Correct. Yeah.
Ten points for this. A major exponent of existentialism. Which German philosopher wrote the 1920... Newcastle Bennett. Uh, no, sorry, I got that wrong, sorry. I'm N afraid Nietzsche. you lose five <laughs> points. Wrote the 1927 work Being and Time. One of you, Buzz St John's? St John's Harry's. Heidegger? Heidegger is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on toxicology, St John's. What broad group of organisms produces mycotoxins? Mycotoxins? Come on. Fungi. Fungi will do, or moulds. Aflatoxin can cause liver disease and liver cancer. What genus of fungus gives the toxin its name? Aphlium. Uh, what, sorry? Aphlium. Aphlium. No, it's aspergillus. Yeah. What is the short name of the species of grass most commonly infected by Claviceps purpurea, the cause of ergotism? Can you say rye grass? Rye? Yeah. yeah. Rye grass? Correct. Ten points for this. At a gentle walking pace of one metre per second, it would take just under 1,000 million years to cover what astronomical unit of distance? St John's Harry's. A leap year. No, no anyone like to bust Newcastle Newcastle? Smith. One astronomical unit. No, it's a parsec. Ten points for this. According to its dictionary definition, what Greek-derived term means the branch of theology concerned with the four last things, death, judgment, heaven and hell? St John's Clare. Eschatology. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses now are on French cinema since 2001, starring Tahir Rahim and set largely in a prison, which 2009 film by the director Jacques yeah, Audiard okay, okay. won the Grand Prix yeah, at the okay. Cannes okay. Film Festival yeah. in 2009? A prophet? Correct. The 2010 film of Gods and Men was based on the 1996 kidnapping and assassination of seven Trappist monks from the monastery of Tiberine in which African country? Oh, she's a Tunisian. Tunisia. 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 I think it's Tunisia. Tunisia? No, it's Algeria. Mm -hmm. Marianne Cotillard won the Best Actress Oscar for her portrayal of which singer in La Vie en Rose? Edith Piaf. Correct. Ten points for this. Glandular fever is an infectious viral disease characterised by the swelling of which glands? Newcastle Cuckman. Lymph nodes. Lymph glands is correct, yes. <laughs> set of bonuses for you now. They're on King David I of Scotland. The fifth son of Malcolm Canmore and St Margaret, David spent his youth at the court of which English king, his brother-in-law? Which one was David around? Malcolm was, like, ten... Yes. Henry the First. Henry the First. Correct. From 1136, David led several invasions of England in support of his niece's claim to the English throne. What was her name? Matilda. Correct. David died in 1153 at which present-day English city on the River Eden? It had been his residence and military base for much of the latter part of his reign. Carlisle. Correct. Ten points for this. Which modern orchestral instrument typically has seven pedals of the form invented in the early 19th century by the Frenchman and at the Don, Newcastle University have 120, but St John's College Oxford have 210. Well, you weren't really on song tonight, Newcastle, because you can do much, much better than that, as we've seen in previous matches. We're going to have to say goodbye to you, but no shame in going out in a quarter-final at all. Uh, St John's, storming performance from you. We should look forward to seeing you in the semi-final. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you can join us for the first of those semi-finals, but until then, it's goodbye from Newcastle University. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from St John's College, Oxford. Bye. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.